Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife and Resources Agency. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray as we close out today's show. It's still the fastest minutes in 90 fastest 90 minutes in outdoor radio programming. Bill Bill Co- Bill Cox. Uh Bill Cooksey, who are you? Uh, Bill Cooksey. <laughs> it's 90 minutes. Are you still awake? I mean, all right. I am still here. All still right. Rolling. It's fun, right? I mean, this is fun. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, we learn a lot and uh, try to have the guests on that uh, are informative, entertaining. And uh, if you want to just listen to me talk for 90 minutes, uh, call my wife up. I'll give you her cell phone number, okay? Uh, <laughs> that, won't get you, that won't get you very far. And then, of course, you recognize that laugh in the background because uh, – He's living the life's dream, and that's our good man, Ron Wong. Uh, as we call it, uh, this is B.W., Bonus Wong, and this is the last Saturday of the month, and Ron is on with it. Oh, Ron. Uh, well, I thank you very much, and, you know, always good to be on in the fastest 90 minutes of outdoor radio. But, you know, before we go to our next guest, yes. um, Let's for those you. of you that don't know, and certainly um, – it pulls at my hard strings, uh, but sad to say uh, that a friend of the fishing industry, uh, yes, uh, an icon for Strike King Lure Company, uh, Phil Marks has passed away. Uh, yes, he did due to uh, cancer, uh, and Phil was only fifty-five years old, but yeah. wow. very instrumental in the. Uh, growth of striking lure company. So we want to send our condolences out to Phil's family and uh, uh, and all the folks at Strike King. So uh, wanted to get that in there before we talk to a young man that uh, has been on this show before. Uh, he's had an amazing career, uh, Major League Fishing right now, uh, out of Donald, South Carolina. We always love to talk to Casey Ashley. Good morning, Casey. Good morning. How y'all? We're doing great. Okay, buddy. I know, I know you wanted that championship at Grand Rapids. Man, you came oh, man. man, you came in close. If anybody thinks that missing a putt in a tournament from eighteen feet is bad, just think about catching sixty nine pounds of fish. Right? Uh, who had you? <laughs> I mean, uh I know Jordan got you, but we're gonna get that out of the way because we're gonna talk about being on part of this thing, you had thirty. Uh, what I don't. What, how many fish did you catch in that thing? I don't even know, man. Did you talk about your show going fast. That <laughs> went fast in the cut format. Yes, it goes so fast. You don't remember how many fish you caught or what they weighed. You, you just know you fell short when you finished second. Well, I know you got. <laughs> that's all you care. That's about. all you care about. And, but uh, folks, this is a young man that's got thirty-eight thousand five hundred and six followers on Facebook. Man, I don't have that many cousins. You know, I mean, uh, <laughs> that is an amazing figure, Casey. And I know you got fans out there. You got fans here in the Memphis area. I know you'd rather be turkey hunting all year long. I know your background with the, the guitar. Talk about life in the Major League Fishing and what it's meant to you. It it has been uh, it's been real fun. I tell you, it, it's something that you you have to really experience it to know what it's all about. Yeah, you know, you talk. You talk about fast pace, buddy. It is fast pace. When you're on that water, there is never a time that you can back off. <laughs> you can't, uh, can you? you? No. You, you know, used to you could go out and catch, you know, 20 pounds in the first 30 minutes and then go practice for the rest of the day. Yeah. You, you're just getting started. Well, do you like that? Do you like that format? Do you like catching that, uh, catching a lot of fish and, and doing that? Man, who don't like catching a lot of fish? That's what we live for. But, yeah, it is, <laughs> I love it. It's different. But I can tell you it is very stressful when that clock is ticking. Well, it could be a lot less stressful if you were still back at Piedmont Technical College now. At, I mean, come on. Uh, yeah, you got that right. I mean, but I don't know. I mean, from the, I'm from the, from year to year, I probably get way more gray-headed than I used to. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now we just got through talking to Clark. When uh, Clark, uh, he's fifty-four. Now we get somebody thirty-six, and he's getting old on us now with gray hair. But uh, I tell you, I'm, I'm still glad y'all y'all refer to me as a young man. You are a young man to us and everything. But you got to be living the dream. Growing up in rural uh, the Carolinas and things along that line, and I I, I know that uh, uh, moving to the Elite Series in two thousand seven, uh, your career has been that. Uh, 
way, but I can I can read a lot of these things in here about uh, catching your first bass at the age of four or five. On a Zebco 33, who didn't catch their first bass with a Zebco 33? I mean, Absolutely. Um, but uh, the dream was there. You said you used to dream about it in, 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 in high school, in grade school. So I th- did. I did. You know, from that first fish that I caught when I was every day, every high little, man, it, just, it lit something inside of me that I, I just never could get over. You know, fishing... It's also a, a, the world's favorite pastime. It know? is, it's yeah. It's time to, time to be together with people you know and, and have fun doing something and enjoying the outdoors. And then you turn it into a competition, man, and it's, it's still that much more enjoyable. Fishermen, every one of them, I can promise you, if you talk to them, they either came from a, a sport background yeah. or some type of com- competitive background, and the, every one of them are super competitive. We're all friends off the water. When you get on the water, <laughs> it's every man for itself. Well, talk about uh, that humble beginning because I read where uh, you and two of your buddies uh, got in your truck and drove to California, and then somebody broke into your truck, stole all your stuff out of it. You had to get back home, and now look where you are now. I mean, it's uh, it, it's pretty amazing. So talk about the, the way you started and and. and and the competitiveness that you have now. Yeah, you know, growing up, I've always been super competitive. And uh, even, you know, outside of fishing, everything I do, I want to win. Um, but, you know, when I first started fishing full-time, made the Elite Series, I'd never been very many places outside of, <laughs> yeah. you know, South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia. Yeah. And our first trip was out to Texas. And, you know, that whole fiasco went on. That yes. was our first Elite Series tournament. Yes. Um, and then you had yeah, to go. From you, there, you had to go to Armistead after that. I mean, you know. Uh, uh, that that was Armistead. So there we went to California. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, that's where it yeah. happened. Then okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, you were broke. Before, you were broke before you started. Then so uh, I, I was. I was past broke. <laughs> <laughs> I was past broke. We probably we probably rode that last three hours of that morning with a cardboard taped in our window just so. We could leave it there when it was freezing to death. It was February, so it was cold. Well, um, it's, but yeah, I've come a long way since then. You know, that's the that's the life on the road. This this just bad stuff you have to take. But man, there's there's so much good about it, and all the great people you get to meet. That's that's what it's all about. Well, Ron, you've had a chance to to watch uh, uh, Casey fish and know and know the competitiveness in him. I know that that uh, you know a classic. Uh, the classic yeah. win really <laughs> sticks out in my mind Yeah, for yeah. several reasons. Number one, it was so cold. Yeah, okay. I mean, it was right, Ashley? so cold I mean, right, Casey? South Carolina. Brutal. Cold. It was and, brutal. Yeah. yeah, it was brutal. And, you know, up until that point, uh, there was, I don't think, a winner on their home lakes yeah. ever yes. in the classic. and. Casey was the first one to win on his home lake in South Carolina there. Lake Hartwell, um, the 2015 Bassmaster Lake, Classic. Lake Hartwell. Yeah. When, when boats were frozen to their trailers at launch the first morning. Well, so yeah, we had a, was, we had a two-hour delay the first morning of the event just for the reason that we couldn't get our tr- boats off of the trailer. Off the trailer, to it. yeah. And, and, <laughs> and you look at that and, and look back and – Five years ago, it doesn't sound like it. That sounds like it was yesterday to me. I, because Ron, it feels like yesterday yeah. to me, too. Does it really? I mean, uh, it does. Uh, because it does. we speak about that. Ron speaks about it a lot. And and I know that uh, to crack the million-dollar mark, my goodness, Casey. I mean. Uh, yeah. uh, That's a lot of time spent fishing is what that is. <laughs> well, we'll, t- we'll talk, talk. A lot of time in the Talk about that. I mean, the adjustability that you have because, yeah, I mean, there's a lot going on in your life and things along this line. So what's what goes through Casey Ashley's mind when he hits that water on that first day? Man, I'll tell you, it's just from the stuff you talked about from my first year getting to this point and the classic. But that whole time on the tune that nobody really talks about, 
I mean, it's all about, you know, I've, I've been very fortunate. I've, I've won some, won a classic. I've also got some really great sponsors and, you know, just good people behind me. So that first morning when you hit the water, yes, it's pressure. It's pressure to win. You have pressure on yourself. You know, but when you got good people behind you like I do, man, it's you do that pressure is gone. Yeah. So at least at least it's just the pressure of you and the fish, and that's that's what makes you a super competitor when you don't have to worry about everything else. Like I used to, and uh, you know, when we <laughs> it first started at Hadama said I was worried about how I was going to get home. Yeah, yeah. Now, now, now you worried about let's get this thing going. I mean, you're ready. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's let's get it going. Let's let's win again. Like you were excited when you went coon hunting with your dad. I mean, I, 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 some of some of those uh, type things when you look back. Again, we're talking to Casey Ashley, uh, Major League Fishing, uh, one of the best at a young age. Uh, it, it's pretty remarkable. You mentioned your sponsors. Ron's always talking about sponsors. Man, you got yeah. some good ones here. Uh, you know, uh, my, Real Tree. I, wow. I, I got to tell you, you know, uh, Bill Jordan's one of my favorite people, and. To get into that, uh, Costa Del Mar, a Triton, Mercury, uh, yes, sir. a Power Pole, yeah. and things along this line. So uh, you you couldn't do it without them. But at the same time, your your ability, and I'm I'm assuming uh, if you had to, and Ron would probably say this too. What would you say is your strength as a fisherman, Casey? Man, I don't really have one thing. I'm just I'm good at junk fishing. You know, I can, okay. I can, I can catch them. Just like the song says, I can catch them deep. I can catch them shallow. <laughs> I love the fish shallow. Yeah. You know, at this level, you really have to be able to do it all. You I mean, do, you don't can't you? Just have one. You can't have one strength and survive day in and day out. So, you know, I didn't start that way. I had to learn it. I had to teach myself. But uh, there's still mm-hmm. things that I'm not good at. But you know, sometimes you don't have to go for the win. You have to go to survive. So. Well, I think you're a survivor. But, you know, that's so true, isn't it, Casey, with this major league fishing format, that you have to be able to adapt to different things during the day, each day at one of those tournaments, isn't it? You you have to be able to adapt with the fish, because now in this format, you see how much it changes throughout a day. You see a guy leading in the first period. And yeah. then by period three, he hadn't caught nothing in an hour and a half. So, That's right. You know, yeah. you, you always have to be changing. But the biggest thing that you have to keep up with is the fast pace. Fast and knowing pace. what everybody's got. Because yeah. that's pressure that, you know, nobody's ever had to deal with before in the past. You know, when you had what you had, you thought you were pretty good till you got back to the weigh-in and everybody blast them, you know. <laughs> so then, then the next day you go out with that pressure, but that whole day you didn't have to worry about the pressure of knowing what everybody else has well, got. got and that's something that's really hard to get with you got that guy with a notebook back at the scoreboard operator you know i mean he's <laughs> yeah and he's not he's not scared to tell you what he's no, doing that's right casey we appreciate you being on outdoors larry ray buddy thank you for taking time on this saturday morning and uh continue to success we hope 2021 is even bigger and better for you next next year okay buddy I hope it is. I appreciate y'all having me, and I think you need to get on the water now. All right. We know how to get you, buddy. I'll see you down the road. Ryan will see you. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Casey. All right. Yes, sir. Okay. Casey Ashley. Okay. Uh, Before we get out of here, Bill, I know you've been uh, listening. I can hear you breathing a couple of times, so I (laughs) wanted to make sure that you uh, appreciate you, buddy. Hope you have a great weekend. Uh, Thank you, Larry. And I, I tell you, I do remember watching uh, Casey and those guys in that tournament trying to get those boats loose. And I thought, man, yeah. they just need a few duck hunters there. <laughs> That's nothing. <laughs> ain't nothing breaking ice, right? Yeah. There ain't nothing to getting a frozen boat off a trailer. Yeah, you should have told Casey that. I know that. He's a coon hunter. I know that. So, hey, Ron, thank you, buddy. We'll talk to you, too, later on. And, uh, folks, don't forget to go to lroutdoors.com. Uh, click on all those links that go to Ron with all of his different things, uh, pictures and all the stuff that we have on LROutdoors.com. Uh, thank you both of you guys. And uh, before I leave, I'm going to say it doesn't cost an extra cent to get good support. What else, guys? God, God bless, bless the USA. USA.